Hey everyone, so in this video I'm just going to go through a demonstration of how to use the mapping rule to graph a transformed function if you know some points on the parent function. So let's say we have a point x, y, right, and this is going to be a point on our parent function f of x. Okay? So the mapping rule is that I can take that point x, y, right, and I can turn it into the point x over k plus d, and then a times y plus c. All right? Uh, so if I basically take the a, k, d, and c values of my transform function, if I divide the x value from my parent function by k and then add d, I get the new x value of my transform function. If I take the y value from my parent function uh, and multiply it by the a value of our transform uh, of the transformation and the, uh, add the c value, that's going to give me the new y value on my transform function. Okay, so this will be a point on my transform function g of x. So let's go through a demonstration here using uh, a real function here. So what about if we do g of x is equal to 4 times the absolute value of negative 0.5 times x minus 1 plus 2. Okay, so we're going to apply the mapping rule to the parent function of g of x in order to get some points on, on our transform function g of x. So first thing we need to do is we need to identify what the parent function of this is. And the parent function of this is just going to be our uh, parent absolute value function, which is f of x is equal to the absolute value of x. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to need to, uh, to get some points on our parent function. Uh, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to kind of replicate the table of values for the absolute value of x. Uh, and let's see, so let's see, I'm going to have x and f of x. And I'm going to use x values of uh, negative 2, uh, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Uh, I know that the, the sheet that I gave you guys from before it goes from negative 3 to positive 3. I'm just going to do negative 2 to positive 2 here. And the y values, well, I'm just going to take all the values and force them to be positive. So I get 2, 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay, so according to my p table of values, the following points are going to be a part of my parent function. So negative 2, 2, negative 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2, 2. So those are all points on the parent function f of x. Okay, so in order to get uh, points on uh, my transform function g of x, I need to know my mapping rule. So I'm just going to write that out. So the mapping rule is going to be that the point x, y is going to go to the point x divided by negative 0 0.5 plus 1, because negative 0 0.5 is my k value, and 1 is my d value. Okay, And the y value is going to be 4 times y plus 2, because my a value is 4 and my c value is 2. Okay, So I'm going to apply the x and y value from each of the points that I have here for my parent function. I'm going to apply them to the mapping rule to get some new points on my transform function. So let's, let's take a look at the first one. So I'm going to substitute negative 2, positive 2 into my mapping notation, and I get negative 2 over negative 0 0.5 plus 1 for my x value, 4 times 2 plus 2 for my y value. And if I evaluate both sides, negative 2 divided by negative 0 0.5 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, so I get 5, and then 4 times 2 plus 2 is 10, so I get 10. Okay, so the point 5, 10 is on my transform function. Okay, doing negative 1, 1. Well, I'm going to have negative 1 divided by negative 0 0.5 plus 1, and 4 times 1 plus 2, okay, negative 1 divided by negative 0 0.5 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, and then 4 times 1 plus 2 is 6, so I get 3, 6 as another point on my transform function. Okay, applying it to 0, 0, I have 0 divided by negative 0 0.5 plus 1, 4 times 0 plus 2, right, so I have uh, 0 divided by negative 0 0.5 is 0, plus 1 is 1, 4 times 0 plus 2 is 2, so I have the point 1, 2 on my transform function. 1, 1, so I have uh, 1 divided by negative 0 0.5 plus 1, 4 times 1 plus 2. Evaluating that out, 1 divided by negative 0 0.5 is negative 2, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6, so I have the point negative 1, 6 on my transform function. And lastly, the point 2, 2. I'll have 2 divided by negative 0 0.5 plus 1, and 4 times 2 plus 2. 2 divided by negative 0 0.5 is negative 4, negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3, so I have uh, the point negative 3, and uh, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10, so negative 3, 10 is also a point on my transform function. So using 5 points for my parent function, I now have 5 points on my transform function. These points here, these are my points on g of x, which is my transform function. So that means that if I wanted to sketch out uh, a graph of g of x, of my transform function, all I would really need to do is plot these five points, okay, and then just uh, draw in a curve. Or I guess in this case, it'd be, it, it's an absolute value function, so it would be two straight lines that form kind of a V-shape.
Okay, guys, so this is how to use the mapping rule on a parent function to get some points on your transform function uh, in order to graph it. Take care.